Hello everyone and welcome back. So last night we just finished royalty mission for the assassin. So we're going to be on the Citadel again to take care of Garrus's loyalty mission. As well as some side, side quests as well. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. That's what we drink. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a turian or quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. People want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jelani, Western the News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You made me look bad. What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. We stood as one to save many. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. That's what you get. You have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. No 
fish. What do you want? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. This looks like the place. The Forger Thug should be inside. Well, let's get ready. Fade, you're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? Let's talk. We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Did, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Harkin. Blue Suns? What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? They use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel. Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. Well, not really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Let's get going. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse.
There he is. Shepard? Don't just stand there. Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Hostile! Punch through their armor. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. Go find him again.
enemy! Mech overhead. up to. Worked with Harkin at CSEC? Yeah, he was a pain in the ass back then, too. But I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You okay? We seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. See that? They saw something. He's getting ready for us. Let's go get her. We won't catch him waiting here. Right behind you.
to heavy mechs. Incoming. Do you really think you can take me down, Garrett? You are close, but not close enough. <laughs> Here to ask favors, Hergen. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Torian came from the. I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Be reasonable. Hergen, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <laughs> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Terminus uh, 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 really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. <clears throat> I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. You okay? I'm getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? It's just not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. 
You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. All right. I won't mention it again. I appreciate that. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. Got it. You just want me to get him in position? Basically, keep him talking for a minute. When I've got him in my sights, I'll let you know. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid Sidonis. That was easy enough. Yes, it was. Clean and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I know C Sec too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Okay, talk to these two, sorry, and then go shopping again. I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the Council, they've taken over CSEC Customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for Geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. I found some forged IDs. Maybe these would work. They're new transit IDs. You... How did you get those? Doesn't matter. If you don't want them, I could just take them back. No, no, I'll take them. With thanks. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow.
How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Well, good luck out there, sh Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. They're crazy. Nobody who knows you could believe you betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. So what's the next step? What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing, with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. I'll help. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. minutes to talk? Certainly. You're not a typical assassin. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. Investment? That's cold. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? What did your parents do? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us. Some of us from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. Sounds like slavery to me. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's your world like now? 
What's the state of Arcana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Who do you work for now? But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies, Drell, slip into memory so easily. What was that? Was that one of your assassinations? Ah, uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Supplies to good use. Yes, he did. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I'm glad you're here. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. What about Ilos? I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Okay, let's go to, to, to Trunka. Alizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17.
Captain Shepard, Tally's order told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Commander, not Captain. I never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. I owe Tally a great deal. Tally helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help, Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Get into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Get aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You did what? You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali's aura under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Charging Talizora with something. Talizora can't even get 40 in the cup to the Talizora vs. Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. On the run. Shepard vs. Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran vs. Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, run. You called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Are you part of the trial? You're an Admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tally and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tally. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Why does her name matter? I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. We should go in. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'm honored. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. Yes. The accused Tali Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! 
A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tali crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tali's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? It is my pleasure. If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vas Nima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Talcoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? She couldn't have done this. How could Tali have brought guests to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units. Only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kira. Need to help. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You intend to retake the Alurai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. We must for Tally's sake. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Are you all right? How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... He could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Come on. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Look, Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I uh, heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you help me. Will you speak for Tally? Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the Admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. 
I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. Do you have more information? Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. I hope you feel better. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Call Rieger. Shepard, Telezora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like he gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Can you help somehow? Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Geralt are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Did the Geth do this? Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Kila, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. Is this a big problem? What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated, some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material, Probably not something to worry about now, but resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. Fighting seems risky for you. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. Goodbye. We should get going. Good luck on the holler, right? Shepard spoke well to the animals. Alright, no sense in talking to the rest of the animals. Even during the healing, Talizor's first thought is to protect the fleet. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Do you know what's over there? Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of Geth, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. 
I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. We're ready. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Kira Selai. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. Does that salvage gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that Father actually did all this.
This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. What do you think of this? Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Were you aware of this? Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Anything useful? Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. They may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? That's a bad idea. Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. It's still a home. You've got a place here, Tali. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. And find another world. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. Come on. No, no, no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't hey. leave me. Hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. 
You've got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. I don't know what's worse, thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we're ending this. is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. Are you okay? You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Not anyone. We'll see at the trial. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. 
Sounds like the hearing is already underway. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. You should pardon Tally. Tally Zoravas Normandy saved the Alari. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Talizora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alari that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? I don't need evidence. Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth of the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. But if you want more, I can present the Normandy, which Tally also saved from Geth forces, even though it's too quiet for her to sleep well. We still don't know what happened on the Alari. No, Admiral, you don't. But you gave her my name. I'm her captain. I trust her with my life, and I'm telling you that she's innocent. And we should just trust this human's opinion? We placed Tally's life in the human's hands. Would you doubt those words if they came from a Quarian, Captain? No. Based on the rest of the evidence, I suppose that I wouldn't. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. She's with me. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zoravas Normandy. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. You're not disappointed? Well, you can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. I didn't do this for real. Telly, about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Let's go home. Come on, Telly Zora, Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. I'll take it. Messages for you, Commander. Yes, I know. I just checked. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. Keela, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. Will their politics shift? I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. 
What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Was that trial normal? Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. You deserve better. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. The right? Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Clan leader summons you. He is in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. Good enough. Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. It's been a long time. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. 
Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Blown up. Destroyed in the Collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Salarian and the Blood Pack. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. What's wrong with Grunt? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank-bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite Warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Get to the point. I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? His call. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? I'm leaving, come with us. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. See that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. I'll tear you apart! Watch it. You go beyond yourself, Gatatag Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. We have permission. Erdnot Rex has given us permission to seek clan status for Grunt. Permission? Huh. That is good enough, if lacking in spirit. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Krant stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested. But Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your craft? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? He is part of my crew. We stand with Grunt, as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing. But I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. 
Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. You defy a shaman? You would go against a shaman's will and stand in Grunt's way? They have not defied me, human. They have angered me, as has this whole situation. I remain undecided. Do you want to die, Uve? Get in our way, and the few brains you have will meet the light of day. Ha! I like this human. He understands our ways better than some of our own kind. Shaman, you cannot decide in his favor. What about Krogan tradition if you pollute the right? You... you dare. I was a warrior before your mother was born. I speak with the authority of centuries. I decide who is worthy. That is the end of it. I have other means to oppose this. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Begin the right. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures. Like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive, no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Give me a Get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Switch up. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Shepard. First the Krogan conquered to Chanka, and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. Peace. 
Ace will know I'm worthy.
now suck it. Good. I want more. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Maw. No one has done that in generations. Word not Rex was the last. My cramp gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. This will cause discussion. I wonder. You say you are pure. No alien meddling in your construction. Just the warlord of Kier. He's the ultimate Krogan. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem. But not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are in a state that your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name. On Shepard's name. But now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name. Your call, Grunt. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Ulvik, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable, whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. We've been spot on it. the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a Thresher Maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, 
You are Erdnacht. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battlemaster. Shepard is my battlemaster. He has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnacht Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. Goodbye. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. I'll take it. Alright, so that's going to be the end of the stream. Tomorrow we'll do Morgan's mission. Everybody have a good night.